This is Matt at Rush Scheduled Fun. And I got a little bit of time today to start a new project. So I picked up this uh, older log splitter, um, factory built. Someone painted it all uh, black and it's peeling, but it does work. Um, the motor is probably on its way out. Oil's leaking and everything, but it did start to run, but that's not what we want. We don't want the motor off of it. I want the log splitter part right up here. So what I'm going to do is take this off and mount it to my dingo so I can split some giant rounds that I have. And then long term, it'll make splitting giant rounds just that much easier. It's not something I'll use every day, maybe a couple times a year. But it's uh, just trying to make another back saver. But the project today is I just want to make sure that my idea will work um, off the hydraulics here. So they plug in here and on the dingo here. And I can set it up for in out. So I don't see why not. Um, I have seen these for full size skid steers. So I'm just going to make myself a smaller version of it, or, well, it's the same size, but I'm just going to run it off my dingo. But I need to take all this off, and then these lines, and I'm just going to kind of mock it up and get some adapters so I can hook it up to the dingo and make sure my idea will work, that it'll go in and out like it should before I start welding. And, and making uh, and attaching it to the plate. So let's get to it. All right, I got so I put some cardboard down. I got some pans to catch the oil. So let's see if we can get this apart. Oh, wowzers. I think I'm gonna need a breaker bar on that. Well, we can leave that attached, so let's take this one off. <laughs> Boy, I'm really glad I put that uh, cardboard under here. So, all I did was take off the lines on either side. Um, And the valve, you can tell this is an older valve because it doesn't have the, the auto return. So that's probably, you know, when it shows that this is an older uh, machine. Let's take this line off here and see if we can mount these two lines. And I think it's, I'm just gonna need an adapter to go to those uh, other quick connects on the dingo and we should be able to see if this works or not. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's go take find some other hoses. I don't think All right, now the fun part. Uh, we gotta go drive and get some adapters to go from this fitting to this. And so we need two of those and a half inch pipe nipple. And we'll be able to see if this works today or not. All right, I'm back with the correct, with hopefully the, or with the correct fittings. So let's get this all together and give it a shot. So I needed a half inch nipple. For this line and then do do actually I'm gonna stick it over here. And then I needed two of these boss fittings with half inch uh, pipe thread. 
All right, let's get this together. It's always nice to go to the custom shop and they got what you need. All right, now I got my two quick connects on here. Uh, I'm gonna wipe off some of this oil so it'll make a bigger mess. But uh, we're basically ready to hook this up to the dingo and see it function. So uh, how about we do that? Mm. All right, so this should work. Let's fire up the dingo and see what happens here. Well, proof of concept, it works. I did not tighten all my fittings. I have a big oil slick over there. Well, that's a bummer. All right, it worked. My log splitter, I'm gonna move forward with the project. Um, I only have the cost of the buying this cheap, cheaper log splitter used, some fittings, and I took the quick connects off of a piece of, different piece of equipment. I just wanna make sure it all worked. Uh, but now I'm just going to move forward with it. I have a mounting plate already for the dingo. So I'm very happy with all of how this log splitter is probably going to come together. Um, now it's just figuring out the mounting of that and how to weld it on and that, and that'll all come together also. But thanks for watching. Uh, that'll be coming up. Well, I'll be working on this probably uh, starting next week uh, to do this. And then uh, I still got the C4500 go projects going, and I also have the Ford 1910. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, that, that's Rushed Scheduled Fun for today.